Alright, hey, what is everyone? Welcome back to another Grinders Master video. And into this video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of the craziest cars Aston Martin has ever built, and that is the Aston Martin Valkyrie. There it is. So, this thing right here, it is just absolutely mental. It uses like F1 technology, and it also has a V12, which is mental. So, here it is in the brand central, looking very nice. So, we have four options we have Slipstream Green. Um, hold on, it changes. Okay, studio gallery. So we got slipstream green, uh, maximum orange, which looks sick. We also got liquid petroleum and ethanol silver. Ethanol silver looks sick. I really like the uh, little bit of uh, orange at the top there. But it is an Aston Martin, so we gotta go for the good old uh, green. There we go. This thing is very expensive. Four million credits. So yeah, I did grind a bit of money before I restarted recording. So I have 5 mil, so I'm chilling. So yeah, let's purchase this thing. Here we go! Oh man! 1139 horsepower stock. Oh my god! That is mental. Alright, 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 all right. hold up, hold up. I need to check this out. Oh, there it is! Oh, man! Look at that! Okay, hold up, hold up. We need to take a listen to the engine sound. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, not the best revs in the world, but that's alright, we can, I can rev the car again later, uh, when I, when I start driving it, but so far that sounds amazing, look at this car man, just absolutely mental bro, look at this, one of the best cars, Aston Martin has ever made for this thing man, it's just insane, look at the interior, the steering wheel, the screens, you got the cameras on the sides, everything is just carbon fiber. Carbon fiber dash, center console is carbon, just everything is carbon, which is mental. Look how thin those seats are. I'm pretty sure the seats on this thing, they weigh like 8 kg, which is, is insane. And I love the rims, beautiful rims. Alright, here we are. Oh my. Okay. We're at good old spar and let's check it out. <laughs> oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it even has an overtake button. Bro, this thing revs so fast. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and this is on sports soft tires. This is not even racing soft, this is sports soft. Look at the interior! Wow! Hold up, take a listen. You look at the sp look 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 at look at the screen on my steering wheel there. Look at go from 1000 RPM to 11,000 RPM. It's just instant! <laughs> oh my okay, let's go. <laughs> the shift! Oh my god, what a car! Oh, the brakes are so good as well. Oh, wow. Hold up. This thing is... Okay, hold up. We even have a, like an overtake button. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Driving in third person is not the best in this game. It is very grippy. Oh my god. Press the overtake button. 200 miles an hour! Oh my god! That is nuts, bro. I wonder what grips you can do to this thing, man. This thing's stock is already mental. If we can put like an ultra high RPM turbo charger on this thing, then my life is complete. That will actually be insane. I love the sound of this thing. It's so good. 
and the shift as well. Oh my god, that is mental. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go customize it and see what we can do to this thing. Oh my god! That sounds meant. Okay. I might need to upload like a separate video of just pure engine sounds of the Aston Martin Valkyrie. That is. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Back at the menu. Now, first thing I wanna do is GT Auto. If there's a white body, then there's one. Come on. Ah, no white body, but imagine! <laughs> that would be so dumb. But yeah, no white body, unfortunately, if you guys were wondering. Uh, car customization. Now, uh, this is gonna be interesting. No custom parts. We can change the rims, but the rims on this thing, like stock rims, are just so nice. I love the stock rims on this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the stock rims, they look beautiful. Uh, we can't change anything for racing items. Uh, we can go to other parts and change the light bulb and license plate. You can put on yellow headlight, uh, yellow bulbs. That's actually sick. So you can make it look like a full on race car. Oh man. Alright, that's cool. Uh, license plate. We can get rid of the license plate at the front. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the bottom of the car. That's like a flap opening up. Wait. No way they... Wow, okay, the level of detail on this thing is actually insane. <laughs> and look how... Look how wide those rear tires are. Oh my god. But look at the flaps at the bottom of the car there. Interesting. I wonder if that, like, opens up or it, like, closes when we press the overtake button. That is cool. Wait. Uh, I'm uh, I'm not should I, should I keep the hmm should I remove the f the front license plate? I think I should yeah. All right, so uh, let's head straight to the tuning shop. I'm hoping we can do something to this thing because we we have nothing for visual customization. So maybe they at least gave us an option to upgrade it. Um, oh, racing into cooler, but that, that doesn't change, that doesn't even change anything. Okay, that makes it worse. That makes it worse. <laughs> uh, uh, we can't, we can't put nitrous. We can put a steering angle adapter and a hydraulic handbrake for some reason. And we can slap on some carbon ceramics. So I'm going to do that. Oh, what? If you want to get... Restore all body settings to factory defaults. That is 4.8 mil. That's even more expensive than buying a new... What? So yeah, I can buy the whole car for eight, for 4 mil. But then if I want to get a new body, that costs 4.8 mil. Bro, what? might as well just buy a new car. Might as well just buy another Valkyrie. Racing into color does not change a single thing. So this thing does have racing muffler purchased. Uh, equipped stock interesting definitely gonna buy racing soft definitely need that for a car that has about 1139 horsepower racing in, in the corner doesn't change anything which is surprising so yeah I, i'll just buy it maybe that that will maybe that does actually change something uh i buy i'll buy this so ah there we go now uh, fully customized, customizable suspension makes the car better. And same thing for fully customizable racing transmission. Alright, I'll put it on. Oh, we, we can still put a turbocharger on the thing. <laughs> Wait! Oh, 1441 horsepower Aston Martin Valkyrie. Oh my... This is, this is just nuts. The people at Polyphony Digital has lost their minds. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, Racing Intercooler does actually increase the power performance, the power points of this vehicle. So from 1441 horsepower to 1458. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. Alright, and if you slap on Racing Softs, 
that will is immediately make the power points uh, to 911.51 oh my god okay I okay uh, enough enough of that I need to head back to a racetrack and I wanna test this thing out again let's take this to spa and let's just go for a quick drive around spa before I end it There we go. I don't think I'm gonna be talking much during this quick lap around spa so you guys can enjoy the engine sound. Uh, enough of that. This thing is just... Oh my, okay. I think that's enough of checking out the Valkyrie. So, yeah. Had a lot of fun making to this video. Absolutely mental car here. Big W from Gran Turismo for adding in such a crazy car into the game. I am surprised that they managed to get the Valkyrie into the game this early. I mean, it's the, it is a 2021 car. But still, not a lot of tr like not a lot of uh, racing games have the Aston Martin Valkyrie. I mean, I know mobile games, like almost every single mobile game have this has the Valkyrie. But like, when it comes to like Gran Turismo or Forza, uh, they put in a lot of work into their cars. So because of that, it does take longer for them to add in cars like this. But still, this. It just, it just blew me away when people said that this car was coming to the game in the next update. I was like, oh my god, I gotta get ready. <laughs> so I just grinded money and money. I just grinded like so much money. But yeah, this is insane car right here. Done. Absolutely mental. 1458 horsepower beast. Uh, before I end the video, I'm just gonna say one last thing. This thing is a hybrid car and I kind of wish... Uh, Gran Turismo made it so you can drive it in both like you can choose in which mode you want to drive in you, you want to drive it in electric mode only or in full internal combustion engine mode that will be a really cool feature but yeah I think that's gonna be the end of the video so I'm gonna end it right here so if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one peace